Hello Virgo, welcome to another love reading. We're going to be looking at what you can expect in love and who you might be dealing with, what do you need to know about the energies between you, and then finally we'll look at what you can expect in the near future. As always, keep in mind that these readings are general, so they cannot and will not resonate for every Virgo watching. So take what resonates for you, what applies to you. And don't forget to check out your playlist. I have a playlist specifically for Virgo, which is linked in the description box. So feel free to check that out to see other readings for your sign. All right, so let's jump right into it for Virgo. Messages, guidance, please. For Virgo, messages, guidance for Virgo regarding love. What can Virgo expect, Spirit, regarding love? Virgo expect Virgo expect love. Okay, so what's going on for you in love? Wow, Knight of Cups. First card out. The Tower. Oh my gosh. Will this be surprising? Something unexpected? Someone expressing themselves in an unexpected or sudden way? And the Eight of Wands. Oh yeah, this is going to come in quickly. Some sort of communication is coming in quickly, Virgo. That'll be surprising. What do we have on your side here? King of Cups. Oops. And the Wheel of Fortune. Oh wow. Okay. We will be clarifying these in a second. Um, and your person has the Temperance card, which is Sagittarius energy. And the Moon, which is Pisces energy. Interesting. Um, and then we'll look at what you can expect in the near future in a little bit later on. But let's get some energies out here. Well, right away, I feel like there's a lot happening <laughs> because the Eight of Wands is telling me that there's action being taken very quickly or communication happening very quickly. And there's something shocking or unexpected about this. Um, on your side, I have the Wheel of Fortune, which means there's events happening here. You you might feel like things are happening out of nowhere or as if by magic with the Wheel of Fortune or events are just feeling very lucky or just fortunate. But your person does have the Moon and Temperance, which tells me that there's something that's slowly, I don't know, maybe it's they're finding their balance over time, this person or they're figuring something out on their own. Maybe they're figuring out their feelings or maybe they're expressing their feelings after some time. We'll see. Tell me more about the energies for Virgo spirit. In love. Tied up. Someone's feeling trapped or stuck. What else do we need to know for Virgo? Burden heart. Wow. What else do we need to know for Virgo? I feel like someone's been carrying something. And then new beginnings. Yeah, something is definitely happening here, at Virgo. Something's shifting for you when it comes to love. A new beginning is in store. Now, I don't know if this is a new beginning with someone you already know or a new beginning that's happening with a new person. We'll find out when we clarify. We can get more insight on that. Tell me more about the energies for Virgo in love. What's going on for Virgo spirit? Privileged lady. I feel like someone's admiring you. Something's, so you've caught someone's eye or someone is motivated by you. Does not necessarily mean that you have to be a female or um, anything like, you know, a lady <laughs> or someone even that is privileged or well off, but I, I, I go with that energy more that someone sees you as a person of value, as a prize, as someone to impress, someone to admire. What else do we need to know for Virgo? Past life relationship. You've known each other before. So this is very interesting. I feel like some of you, this is, there's just someone that you already know. And others of you, this could be someone like in another life, a past life relationship that's happening again. So let's get some clarity here because I feel like we have to figure out what exactly is happening here. I want to start with that tower. Sir, can I get some insight please for Virgo? Some clarity, some insight for Virgo. What do we need to know? 
spare. What do we need to know? For Virgo, clearly. For Virgo. Tell me about the tower. Why is a tower here? Okay. That was kind of a sloppy shuffle, but it looks like it wants to come out. Knight of Pentacles. The Queen of Cups. King of Cups, Queen of Cups are here. And then the Six of Pentacles. There's that balance energy again. Hmm. Knight of Pentacles is some sort of an offer. Knight of Cups, Knight of Pentacles. There's some sort of opportunity that's happening here based on how someone feels. Queen of Cups. Tell me about the Knight of Cups. Why is the Knight of Cups here? Let's move these a little bit more. Why is the Knight of Cups here, Spirit, for Virgo? What can you tell us? Eight of Wands again. So yeah, I feel like there's someone that's going to be communicating with you and it's going to be quickly. What else do we need to know for Virgo? Knight of Cups. King of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy with the Queen of Cups. Um, so I feel like this is a um, someone that's approaching you from a very mature standpoint. King of Pentacles is someone that I feel is very mature, established. They tend to be like business owners, leaders, providers. For me as a reader, sometimes this King of Pentacles can be already in a commitment or a marriage or something like that. But this could also be just that you're dealing with another earth sign or that you're dealing with a person that's exhibiting these energies. Someone reliable, mature, business oriented, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Bottom of the deck, I have the lovers, Gemini energy. So I feel like whoever this King of Pentacles is, there is a, a very strong connection they have with you. Um, and I say that because the Knight of Cups is here, Queen of Cups is here, The tower is here. I feel like whatever is happening with this person is not going to be like a typical message or like a typical date or, or a typical proposition. There's something different about it, about this offer. Otherwise, why would there be a tower? Tell me about the Eight of Wands over here. What do we need to know about the Eight of Wands? Why do we need to know about and the lovers came up too. That's another, you know, yeah, king of wands. This is happening very quickly, almost impulsively. I'm getting Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy there. The king of wands, they don't really think too much before they, they take action. They kind of are focused more on getting things done. They, tell me more about this eight of wands. Tell me more about this eight of wands. They're very bold, fearless almost. Six of Wands. So we have a Six of Pentacles, Six of Wands. Well, Sixes are all about stability, harmony, cooperation. Hmm. This person has a goal. Why is a Ten of Swords there? Ten of Swords, Ace of Pentacles. Interesting. Maybe this tower doesn't necessarily have to be something you and, th and this person experience together. This tower could be something outside of this connection that opens a door. Ten of Swords, Ace of Pentacles, an ending that brings about a new opportunity. Tell me more about this tower. Tell me more, Spirit. Why is the tower here? Why is the tower here? Five of Cups. And the seven of cups okay there's something here that I, the cards are not I, I mean i could sense that there's something that we're missing because the cards aren't showing what this burden heart tied up energy is so i know there's something like happening behind the scenes or like around this whole connection it's just not in the cards just yet except for this five of cups and the moon that showed up and the tower of course it's almost like there's an emotional response that's happening here based on maybe regrets that someone has with the Five of Cups, based on disappointments from the past, based on them missing you, Virgo, or vice versa. There's a Two of Cups that just wanted to show itself. Yeah, there's definitely a strong connection between you and this person. Can I get one more for this Knight of Cups? Why is the Knight of Cups here? The lovers. I mean, yeah. 
this is a very strong connection this could even be a soulmate someone that you already you know there's like a, the the minute that you interact or the interaction you've had is very special very different tell me about this five of cups the six of pentacles that's here is also about balance maybe this is balancing a difficulty out or giving something to you tell me about the five of cups i think it's an offer the higher font taurus energy and then there's justice balancing things out again libra energy this is very interesting i don't know if there was already a commitment involved here or if someone's regretting something about committing maybe they didn't commit to you in the past maybe they committed to the wrong thing the wrong person maybe they wish they um had the guts to commit to the person that they felt this connection with i don't think you are with this person right now otherwise the tower wouldn't be here i feel like the tower is almost a symbolism of it's, it's disruptive something's happening that you're not expecting something's happening that is sudden um and almost like shocking with the tower i think it's this knight of cups knight of pentacles with the eight of wands some sort of communication that you're not expecting virgo so let's get some insight into your energies down here i have you on the left and your person on the right but of course feel free to flip the energies if they resonate more for you because the energies can be vice versa all right can we get some insight please into the energies between virgo and this person spirit tell me about virgo's energy what do we need to know ah what do we need to know octopus okay uh, this card is typically about um it's really about unhealthy behaviors in a way let's look at the book i always think entanglements but there's more to to the octopus than that lacking boundaries lacking direction this is like a, a symbol of not having healthy boundaries they're very perceptive um so there's there is well it basically says that this result in well-intended but messy relationships they entwine itself into other people's business shares their own business without restraint it's about feeling drained after interacting with each other and, and it's all about establishing healthy boundaries etc cetera, etc cetera. so i feel like when i see this i think of unhealthy attachments i think of situations where boundaries are needed but they they're not there so it leads to some sort of unhealthy attachment but when i saw this card i thought that there's so much going on it's like you're overextended um almost like your mind is all over the place when it comes to this connection or this person let's see tell me more i think you clearly have feelings for this person because the king of cups is here but there's more to it than that tell me about this person that virgo is has or will be dealing with what do we need to know about this other person the deer this is like the queen of cups yeah they they your your feelings are mutual for each other you both care about each other and i think you both understand that this is a special connection so let's get some clarity about your energies tell me about the king of cups with the wheel of fortune why is the king of cups here with the wheel of fortune the fool new beginnings taking a risk a leap of faith tell me more about the king of cups and the wheel of fortune why is the king of cups here with the wheel of fortune i think you're hoping for a new beginning yeah you're hoping for something to start the empress and the fool you want something to happen with this individual that leads to a new beginning or that leads to growth potential I don't know if there's some other dynamic that is burdening this connection because burden heart and stuck is tied up is here so maybe you want to be free to have this connection virgo or you want them to be free to have this connection with you let me know in the comments if that resonates tell me about the king of cups 
and the Wheel of Fortune. The sign. Oh, yeah. You see, you want a lot with this person. You see potential with this person. You want a future with this person. It's very clear here in the cards that this is what you would like to have with this individual. And I think you're kind of in the same boat. I think you both want this. Um, I think you both would love to have this new beginning because the connection is so strong and your person clearly has an offer they want to give you or offer to you. Tell me more about this person's energy that Virgo is, has, or will be dealing with. What do we need to know about this person's energies towards Virgo? What do we need to know, Spirit? What do we need to know about this person's energies towards Virgo? I'm working on myself. Okay, hold on. I want to get a hidden truth oracle. What else do we need to know about this person's energies towards Virgo? What else do we need to know about this person's energies towards Virgo? You came closer than anyone. You're not you're not with this person. Bottom of the deck, I want to feel that way again. Yeah, that's kind of the energy I'm picking up. It's like you're not together, but you're thinking of each other. That's why this is so unexpected, Virgo, because that's why this message, this offer is so unexpected from this person. Because there's almost this energy of like it was never meant to happen. You were never meant to be with this person or something happened to separate you from this person. But it didn't end the connection. Can I get one more energy for how this person is thinking and feeling about Virgo? Words can express how much I care for you. I don't think they've told you. But they're feeling it. Yeah, I wish I could tell you how I feel exactly what I was picking up. You know, when I saw that energy, I was like, I don't think they've told you that. I think that's how they're feeling. But I don't think they've actually expressed that. So let's look into their energies here. Tell me more about temperance and the moon. This is your person's energy is over here. Tell me more. Let me move this over. I can't. Tell me more about temperance and the moon. What do we need to know about this energy spirit? Tell me more about temperance and the moon. The Eight of Pentacles. Tell me more about temperance and the moon. Strength, Leo energy. Tell me more about this person's energy. Six of Cups. Yeah, they're the ones I feel that are thinking of the past. Tell me more about this person's energies. Two of Wands, Five of Wands. I feel there's a... There's an obstacle that's not showing up on the cards, but your person's thinking about it because there's a choice they would they have to make regarding this obstacle or challenge or conflict, or there's a decision that will bring about challenge, drama, conflict, etc. I think they're working up the courage here to make this decision. What is this decision about? What is this decision about? Tell me about the two of wands. Why is this decision here? Or why is the two of wands here, I guess I should say. Tell me about the two of wands. The tower. Yep. So basically, they know that um, this tower, I feel, it, it's going to take a lot from them. The moon. I feel that this is basically due to fear. This, this tower is going to be completely unexpected with the moon here. I feel like this person knows they've held back. They've hidden something from you. They've hidden their feelings for you. And so once they come forward, it's like the mask is off. Everything's out in the open. You'll know how they feel. I feel like there's more to this tower than the tarot is showing me right now. Like it would disrupt more than just like... I don't think it's just going to be surprising and shocking. I think it will disrupt something else, but I don't see it. And if you know what that is, let me know in the comments. But I feel like that's why strength is here. That's why courage, strength is needed. That's why the Eight of Pentacles is here. Work, effort. 
um, because this is an active thing this person would have to do. They would have to actively come forward and express themselves. So let's see, where's all of this headed in the near future? I feel like I kind of know, but... And I'm not going to shuffle or anything because this is the original um, deck that I used. And so what I did is I just didn't pick the last three cards. But the bottom of the deck is the world. Cycles ending, new beginnings. So that's interesting. Wow, the Ace of Cups. The Hangman. And we have the Three of Swords. Wow, bittersweet is what I'm hearing. And the world. Wow, okay. Can we get some um, clarity, please, on these energies? Tell me about the. Hang tell me about all of these energies, spirit. I feel they're all connected. Tell me about the Ace of Cups, Three of Swords, and the Hangman. I feel like the Ace of um, Cups is possible, a new beginning in love, but I feel like there's it's going to be painful for someone else. Nine of Pentacles, Five of Swords, Freedom, Independence, Stability, that Attraction Energy, and the Chariot. Yeah, I feel like someone's coming forward, Cancer Energy, with the Chariot. But I think it's going to cause problems. Knight of Swords, yeah, they're coming over. They're coming forward to talk. I mean, that's very clear. There's a message coming your way. I think this person, perhaps, I mean, there's ways to interpret this. They might want to heal a conflict with you. Um, by coming forward or there's a conflict that would happen if they were to come forward but I don't know if that's a conflict with you or a conflict with someone else um, I don't think that this is going to prevent your person from coming forward um, I think this person wants to feel the way that they used to feel with you and that energy is very strong that need that desire is very strong I think the only thing holding this person back is the fear of causing this tower and, and dealing with the aftermath. Um, I think that's really the only obstacle that this person needs to overcome as of right now. But I have a feeling that a lot of you are dealing with a person where that's just the beginning of the challenges. Um, but at least it would be like the first war, the first challenge will be over, will be resolved, will be done with, and we can move on together and face the next challenge, right? So that's what I have for you, Virgo. I hope you enjoyed this uh, reading. If you did, uh, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, so you can see more videos from me, and I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.